Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this tweak where you can get a nice little FPS boost and decrease in system latency. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this on Mondays at 5 p.m. East every other week. But yeah, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable your auto loggers, which are just event tracing sessions that start up automatically when your PC boots. And it's basically just all telemetry. It collects a whole bunch of data like diagnostic data and performance data. And it sends it to Microsoft in different parts of your PC without you having to even do anything. And it runs all in the background, which in turn hurts our performance. And it's why we disable it, which is what I'm going to be showing you right now. So the first thing you want to do is join my Discord server, which has all the resources and programs that we use in my videos, which will be linked in the description below. Once you join it, you want to head over to the program channel and go over to pin messages and scroll down a bit. In here, you're going to see Power Run, and you want to basically download that and extract it onto your desktop. And to just set it up real quick, we're going to open the folder. We're going to run powerrun.exe as administrator. And then we're going to click File, and then make sure that if there is an option that says Allow Command Line, that we click it. And then once you click it, you can close out of it. If you don't have any option like me, then you can just leave it as it is. So now that you have Power Run set up, you want to make sure that you have the Power Run folder open. You want to go over to your search bar and type in registry or regedit. For me, I'm going to type in regedit because it shows up in my open shell. And then I'm going to click on it and then drag it on top of powerrun.exe and then let go. Once I do that, I'm just going to expand this to make it easier to see. But once you're in here, you want to expand the H key local machine directory right here. Expand system, current control set, control. And you want to scroll all the way down till you see WMI. In here, you want to expand that and then expand Auto Logger. Now, once you have this open, you also want to go into your search bar and type in Perfmon. In here, you want to open that. And then once you open it, you can expand the data collector sets section right here and start up event trace sessions. In here, these are all the auto loggers that you have. Now in here, you'll see that a lot of my auto loggers are disabled and I just did that for the sake of my testing and benchmarks, which you will see later in today's video. But for you, you might have a whole bunch that are enabled or a mix of enabled and disabled. And to basically enable or disable any of these auto loggers, you want to click on any of them within your registry editor right here and then set the start value to zero if you want to disable it or one if you want to enable it. Right now, my one is set to zero, so as you see here, it says disabled. But if I want to enable it, for example, I can just double click on it, set the value to one, and then click OK. And then in here, if I were to just right click and refresh, it would say enabled right here. Now in here, you can get away with disabling most of these, but you want to make sure that you have event log application enabled and event log system enabled. I think on Windows 11, it breaks File Explorer if you were to disable this, and on Windows 10, which is what I'm using right now and it's what I did this video on, you would see that um, if you were to restart your PC after disabling, they just re-enabled themselves. So you would want to make sure that you keep those enabled. You might also have to keep event log security enabled as well, but I'm pretty sure it's safe to disable that. You also want to make sure that to make sure you don't get into any anti-cheat errors or any game errors, that you also keep your TPM and TPM provisioning service auto loggers enabled as well. So. Again, if I want to enable it, I just set the value data in the D word to 1. And I would set it to 1 here to re-enable my TPM auto loggers. And then to disable everything else, I would just set the start values for them to 0. So once you configured all of your auto loggers to how you want them to be, which again, we recommend disabling everything except for event log application system and your two TPM auto loggers down here. Once you do all of that, you can restart your PC and head back into Performance Monitor and then go to Data Collector Sets, start up Event Trace Sessions, and then just refresh to make sure that everything is how you want them to be. And then once you're done with that, you can basically just go and do whatever you want. That's it for the tweak. As for does this tweak actually make any difference? FPS wise, well, it depends on the game. As you can see here, I did two benchmarks, one in CS2 and then one in Fortnite. As you can see, I got better results with autologgers disabled in both of those games, 
right here this is auto loggers disabled and then for cs2 right here this is also auto loggers disabled auto loggers enabled had slightly worse results in both cases but as you can see they are actually pretty minimal when it came to fortnite though the fps lows difference with auto loggers disabled gave you a little fps boot which is pretty nice when it comes to the 0.1 percent lows as for every other part it really didn't change that that much but as you can see there is like somewhat of a positive effect if you were to disable your auto loggers when it comes to process lancy and dpc lancy though you can see the difference more when it comes to enabling or disabling our auto loggers as you can see with our auto loggers enabled our highest measured interrupted process lancy was 29.3 and with it disabled it was 22.9 and then you can see the same difference when it comes to our highest measured interrupted DPC latency. With our auto loggers enabled, it was 27, but with it disabled, it was 21.6. So disabling gave us better latency in both cases. But then again, we don't even care about the highest measured interrupt latency. What's more important is the average latency. And you can see the same effect there with our average measured interrupt latency being 1.7 with it enabled and then with it disabled, it lowered to 1.37 and then same thing with the dpc latency with our auto loggers enabled our average dpc average measured interrupt the dpc latency was 0 0.54 and with it disabled it was 0 0.45 meaning we got better results with our auto loggers disabled in both cases that's it i have for you guys in today's video if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe as i will be posting more videos like this every other week and mondays at 5 p.m east if you have any constant suggestions you can also join the discord server and let me know in the chat what you want to see but that's really it i have for today see you in the next one